Welcome to the Faith and Business Podcast. I'm Elle Edwards, mental health champion, positive psychology geek, and founder of the Faith and Business Playground. Join me each week as I talk openly about the highs and lows of running your own business, the dark side of entrepreneurism, and I bring you tools, support, and resources to help build your resilience, or as I like to call it, your bounce back. In today's episode of the podcast, I just want to take a quick few moments to remind you of the power of of honoring your energy levels and the power of resting as well. I find it no small coincidence that God made the world in six days and then rested. Now, this isn't a time to debate evolution, whether creation, whether they were six literal days or, or you know, six um metaphorical days or whatever I'm not interested in debating any of that what I'm interested in remembering is that whatever that looked like he rested and if the if the god who spoke the stars into space needed to rest or chose to rest then that I see is a good model and a good picture for us as well now the inspiration for this reminder those of you who have maybe follow along on my um, Facebook page or were connected on Instagram you might have seen that all of this week I've been promoting um, Dump the Doubt Live. And as a quick, in case you're listening to this and it's not quite 5 p.m. UK time on Friday, you have still got time to join us. But that's not the point of this. But what, what I found is it's been quite full on. Now, last week I was promoting the masterclass, the free masterclass. At that free masterclass, I then launched, I opened the doors on Dump the Doubt Live. So I had a whole week of promoting the masterclass, did the masterclass on Friday. It was amazing. I had such a wonderful time. And the feedback I've had is that other people had a wonderful time too, which is great. Um, you know, is actually preferable. If I had to choose, I'd rather everybody else had a great time. But it went really, really well. And then what was interesting is that by weird coincidence, or what I would call God incidents, my husband had booked us a night away in a hotel in Cardiff. And Cardiff's not very far from where I live. It's only an hour or so up the road. Um, but it meant that my mum had, mum and dad and my sister had the children. Um, and I feel like I need a different word than children because two out of three of them are teenagers now. They're not really little children anymore, um, <laughs> but they are my children. So, and, and the dogs and we had a night away and it was, it was delightful. And the timing of it felt amazing because I, coming at the end of a really busy week and coming before what I knew would be another busy week. Now, don't get me wrong. I've loved this week. It's been so fun. I've been challenging myself. I've been consistently showing up in ways that I haven't done before and what was really fun for me as well is that I didn't irritate anybody we have this <laughs> as online business owners we have this conception um, and this preconceived idea that if we show up too much and share too much of what we're excited about we're going to somehow annoy people the reality is and I, I know this logically but there's a difference between knowing something logically and actually acting in, in, in that in that knowledge but we know logically that the way the facebook algorithm works for example and instagram is the same people will only see the stuff that they like so the more you interact with things the more you will see it so lots of people won't see everything you put out but although we know this logically sometimes to actually put ourselves out there can be quite challenging and i've loved it and it's been amazing but it, as you can imagine it's also quite it can be quite draining even for me now I, I am i am an extrovert i love i don't find social media exhausting in the way that um other people do i had a conversation um earlier in the week with some, with some introverts and when they put themselves out there on social media it actually drains them when i do a facebook live for example even though i can't see the people i'm speaking to same with the podcast i in my mind's eye i can see you and so the energy that I get back from you, it, it, it lifts me, even though I can't physically see the person. My, my impression from speaking to introverts is that it's not the same for them. So although I don't get drained in the same way because I am a bit more extroverted, it still is a, con a concentrated effort and doing things at set times and, and, it, and it, it can be tiring. And so this reminder that we, we are encouraged to go with the ebbs and flows of life. I don't think any of us are designed or created to be like, go, 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 go all the time. And I see that example in, in our God and the way that he had a Sabbath. Well, he didn't, didn't call it a Sabbath. He rested, but then he did institute the Sabbath. 
And so I wanted to, this is going to be a quite short episode really, but I just wanted to remind you of the power, two things, the power of, of working with your energy levels. Now I am me and you are you. And it's very tempting when we see other people showing up in a certain way to go, oh yeah, that's the way we should do it. You know already, if you've been listening for a little while, you know how much I detest shoulds. There are no shoulds. You only want to be showing up the way that works for you, for what excites you, for what lights you up, and for what works with your energy levels. So there's that part of it. There's also the other part of it is actually we do need time to rest and regroup. So for example, next week, I've purposely kept my calendar light. Actually, I purposely kept my calendar light this week as well because I knew I'd be focused on promoting. I kept my calendar light this week because I wanted, I didn't want to be having lots of other calls um, and lots of other commitments um, while I was promoting Dump the Doubt Live. But next week, I wanted to, I've kept my calendar light because I want time to, to regroup and to reflect and, and to, to recharge, lots of re's there, <laughs> recharge, reflect, regroup. But it's true, we do need to, yeah, to do things within a season. And there's also the added part of that, of course, as well, is we've got Easter coming up. And so next week, the one, my one big focus for next week is, is batch recording episodes of the podcast and the Mindset Minute for over the Easter holidays. Because some of you will know I did this in the lead up to Christmas and took the whole of Christmas off and it was amazing. And so I want to do something similar over the Easter holidays as well. Um, so that's my one big focus. But this idea that we have to go, 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 go all the time is a fallacy. And so I just wanted to take a few moments this morning to remind you and to encourage you. Because as business owners, ideally, we want to create lives that light us up and bring us joy. My goal for you and my goal for the work that I do with you is to empower you to, to build that resilience. You can keep on keeping on so that you are this beacon of joy and delight out there in the world because the world needs you and I. The, light, the world needs light to, to, to drive out the darkness now more than ever. And so that's where I see my role in that. But you, you are going to burn out if you do not honor the ebbs and flows of your life in a way that's consistent with who you are. It's really important. I, can't, I cannot stress that enough. You need to be showing up and acting consistently and honoring, honoring your energy levels, not anybody else's, only yours. doesn't matter what somebody else is doing. And yeah, sure, we can get ideas from other people and we can take you know, inspiration from other people, but not going, oh, so-and-so does it this way. I've got to do it that way. No, working with your energy levels and taking time to rest and reflect because that's what God instituted for us in the way that he created the world but in the way that he set out the sabbath as well so that's my reminder for you today in terms of moving forward so dump the doubt live the, the doors do close on that at 5 p.m uk time today at the time of releasing this episode april the 5th um, so if you listen to this afterwards gone <laughs> however that doesn't mean that I can't support you in other ways as well. So if that's something that you want to find out more about, go to faithandbusinessplayground.com um, and, and you can find out more about that. But in the meantime, if you're not already subscribed, do subscribe because we've got lots more goodies coming up over the next few episodes. Um, oh, and one quick reminder as well. I would love to start answering some of your questions. So if you've got any questions, send them to me. Either email me, hello at lledwards.uk or... Um, send me a direct message or a private message, Facebook, Instagram, whatever, whatever's easiest for you, except for don't send like smoke signals because they, they're a little bit unreliable. <laughs> but if you do have questions, I'd like to dedicate maybe one episode every week or depending on how many questions we, got, we get coming in to answering your questions as well. So start sending those in um, and I can and start answering some questions. That'd be amazing. Okay. I'm going to stop and I'm going to wrap this up, but just take that as a reminder. You know, it is Friday. It is the weekend. Take some time to, to step away from behind your screen and re, you know, refresh and, and re-energize yourself ready for that brand new week. As ever, thank you for listening. It's been my pleasure to share this with you. I look forward to catching up with you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.